top scientists in the world within our midst explaining to us about uh, 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 things which are uh, very uh, new to us and I'm very sure that uh, the children here, you are all excited. Uh, the limits of knowledge is uh, uh, there for all of us to step in. Uh, the world has seen a lot of transformation and we are all today as a young society, I'm very happy that uh, our children are keen to learn and we are truly, really privileged that uh, we have none other than our honored friend, our brother-in-law, uh, Professor uh, Graham. So like how he has romantically uh, named one of the one of the galaxies, uh, uh, sir, we are privileged, we are a small people, but uh, uh, what do we call, uh, it is strange that uh, uh, the tangency of how culture mix with each other, how people mix with each other, uh, you are our brother-in-law through your wonderful wife, you are also in tangent with us, so it is not just with the cosmos, but with the nomos. What is thought's relationship with Earth? Today he will explain to us what is thought's relationship with the celestial. So, welcome sir, and he is on board discovering more galaxies. So it is my request in, on behalf of the community of Nagas, one day he will call that lonely star, that brightening, uh, shining star, that uh, sad star perhaps. One day perhaps he will name one of your galaxy as Naga Galaxy. Uh, Dr. Alistair Graham is a, is a distinguished professor of astronomy from Australia. He's working at the Swinburne University of Technology. Uh, on behalf of the Department of School Education, Government of Nagaland, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you, sir. Your uh, presence here today is truly inspiring and it's a, it's a, it's a rare opportunity for our kids uh, to get to uh, interact with an astron astronomer of your repute. And, uh, you know, we be, be positive that today's uh, interaction would uh, ignite the curiosity and passion for scientific exploration amongst our students. The astronomers have informally named the star cluster Nikuli, N-I-K-H-U-L-I, -I. that's his lady wife's name, and that's a connection to Nagaland. Uh, they, uh, so they turned the, turn to the Sumi tribe in the Indian state of Nagaland for the word, used for a festive period where the descendants of headhunters celebrate and wish for a rich harvest and gathering. It seemed appropriate to the astronomers who refer to space as a field and whose discovery focuses on how a larger galaxy has harvested a smaller galaxy. Hello, I am Alistair Graham, a professor in astronomy from Melbourne, Australia, and I am here because of this woman. <laughs> this is Nikuli. Nikuli, I believe you all know from the galaxy. My team, we discovered a rather special little galaxy and we got to name it Nikuli. And this is my first trip to Nagaland. I am very happy to be here. I'm uh, probably eating more chilli than my stomach likes, but I'm enjoying it very much. <laughs> the name Nikuli, that is the name of my wife. And originally, I thought it was actually a word, not just a name. In astronomy, you can't name galaxies or stars after your wife. Uh, it's not done. Uh, you need uh, a special word. And I thought Nikuli was a special word. <laughs> it is, <laughs> but it's not what I thought. I had been told it's associated with the Taluni festival in the Simi tribe. Yeah. And, and it's because I was born <clears throat> on the 7th of July, and Taluni is on the 8th of <laughs> July. So I think that's how it. And I thought it was a word associated with the Taluni festival. Uh, but it's not, it's just a name. So now, by mistake, uh, NASA <laughs> refer to a galaxy by somebody's name. This is yeah. very rare. When I was in the north of Nagaland, I was up in Vishepu village, yeah. and I went out at night to look at the sky, and it was lovely to see the Milky Way stretching across. So I recommend if you get the chance to get out of Kahima, Zinaboto, Dimapur, away from the city lights, do look up uh, and you might you might see Nikuli. For an optical observatory, no, because of the cloud, unfortunately. The haze, the cloud, that makes it difficult to see uh, in optical light. But it's feasible, you could have a radio telescope that would be a dish. These are large antennae. They can peer through the cloud. They operate in Australia when it's raining. 
So possibly you could do good astronomy with a radio telescope in Nagaland. Whoa! I thought I saw a shooting star. Does mm. that count? <laughs> um, I haven't yet. I'm, I'm just here on holiday. I don't have any professional equipment with me. But when I was out looking at the night sky, I did see a, a shooting star, which was a, a nice surprise. Oh, you get to see them all. Um, there's, there's many. Um, I know them probably by their Western names, Big Dipper, Pisces, the fish, the zodiac, the constellations in the zodiac. Um, there are now apps on your phone, so if you're not familiar with the night sky, you could download an app to your phone if you have one and use that to identify the constellations in the sky above. Well, I can say it's very unusual for somebody's name to be named after an astronomical object. Uh, the Simi tribe, to which Nikuli belongs, was the tribe I was familiar with. Um, I ate a lot of Simi food, I think, in Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> um, but maybe, Nikuli, you, can you comment to this question? Did you want to repeat the question for Nikuli? You might be better placed to comment. Mm -hmm. No? Oh, very good. I, I think Nagalang can be proud of the students. They asked many questions and I think they would have kept on going. I think we had a Q&A session for half an hour or more and the hands mm. kept coming up. Um, the school, you can be very proud. And on a personal note, I very much enjoyed the interaction. It was, it was wonderful to be partaking in this event. Uh, for me, the community are wonderful. Nagas are very friendly. I would love to return when my work allows. I don't know when that will be, maybe, mm. maybe two or three years. Maybe in two or three years. But yes, uh, when work uh, gives me the time, <laughs> I'd love to come back. People are wonderful. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.